Alright everyone, today we're going to install Windows 2 in VirtualBox. As you can see, I already have a DOS system, which you actually need to install this DOS system point one first for this. You can look up how to do that, really. Basically, you will now need... You will only need the Windows 2 files, unlike Windows 1. But you actually need Windows 2 as well. You actually only need Windows 1. No, you only need Windows 2 now. You only need Windows 2. Just go to the A drive and type in setup.exe like I'm doing. And then you're in the setup program. For the most part, you actually follow the directions. And so yeah, press enter here. You can install it to whatever directory you want. I'm just going to do the Windows directory again. I'm going to do do IBM PC XE or AT or 100% compatible. VirtualBox emulates an IBM PC clone. Now here, I actually recommend you select this one. IBM 100% compatible VGA video graphics array. You could also do EGA if you want. Do US keyboard, unless you're from some other region that I don't know about. Now here do Microsoft mouse connected to the PS2 mouse port. And then, here it is. It should all be correct. Unless you messed up earlier, then change, then highlight one of these and change it using the arrow keys, but no change, it's all okay. We'll just press enter to continue. Now we need to enter the displays disk. Just go to drive A, insert displays. Now I'll, I'm gonna, I don't know how to install printers, so I'm just gonna continue. I don't even have any compatible printers. Do United States format, and now insert the fonts disk. Oh, this is the fourth and actually last floppy disk, everyone. And then we're done. Just insert that one and press enter. I just press F unless you really want to view the README file. Now we want to remove this floppy disk. And we don't even, and MSL 7.1 actually comes with the set for entry. Just type in win.com and you can already start Windows from here. Really though, I'm not kidding. A set for entry is actually included here. But anyway, we're done. Now you get to customize it, go in the control panel and stuff like that. But we're done today. Bye, everyone. This is how you exit Windows. Just close MSS Executive by double-clicking the system box and click OK. And then to shut down the system, when you're exited Windows, just type in shutdown and press S. Now, everyone, we are done. Bye.